Welcome to Zombieland. Back for seconds? After all this time? Well, what can I say, but thank you. We have a lot of choices when it comes to zombie entertainment, and we appreciate you picking us. So, you know how Eskimos have a bunch of words for snow? Aput? Pixerpak? Kemuksuk? Well, the only reason we've survived the last several years is that we've gotten to know our bloodthirsty enemies better than we know ourselves. In the time since we last saw you, zombies have evolved, so we've given them different names. This lady here is getting chased by the dumbest Z there is, what we call a Homer. In a world without YouTube, who wasn't entertained by a Homer? Unfortunately, for every Homer, there's a Hawking as in Steven, or maybe his slightly less accomplished sister, Beatrix, who's still got some brains left to figure shit out. Clever girl. Okay, last one. Whoa, 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 what was that? Okay, all right, well this time, let's play Name That Zombie. Hello? Hello? The ninja, silent, deadly. The first thing you hear is your own scream. You can imagine how thrilled we were to crack the zombie code. But life is about more than just survival. Ever since we were evicted from our normal lives, I'd been searching for a place to put down roots. My old pal Tallahassee has this saying, go big or go home. I mean, it's not his signature phrase, but it did give me an idea. Why not go big and go home? To the motherfucking chief. Took a few babies. You would have brought a real dignity to the office. Thank you. You don't have what it takes. I'll be president. <laughs> and I nominate Little Rock as my VP. So that means I get to be president if you get killed by zombies. That wasn't what I was thinking when I offered you the position. But technically, yes. I have this rule. Enjoy the little things. Which is what we spent a lot of time doing in those early days at the White House. And it was a really special time making a house our home. <laughs>
Wichita and I had fallen into our own version of domestic bliss. Well, not quite bliss, but domesticity, to be sure. Did Abe's blindfold fall off again? No, it did not fall off. I took it off. It's so creepy. He just stares at us all night. That stare emancipated the slaves, okay? And it ended the Civil War. We should be, we should be grateful he's gawking at Do us. Do you remember what happened the last time you took the blindfold off? You made me sleep on the Lincoln couch? Mm-hmm. Is that better? That's much better. Good. I love you so much, baby. You are so gorgeous. Yeah, we really need to find you someone. That's where you're wrong. Any romance left in me belongs to the beast here. Okay, well, then we need to find someone for me. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem, as long as you're open to dating zombies. So you're saying what? I'm never gonna find a boyfriend or get married, have a family? Where are your family? So one out of three ain't bad. Little Rock had a strong desire to leave the nest. And let's just say, Tallahassee wasn't the most understanding father figure. Little Rock! But for better or worse, we were a family. And for the first time since the virus, we were living somewhere truly safe, making every day feel like, well, like Christmas morning.